What's good, my space? Quay Max, aka Quay, aka your favorite Brazilian YouTuber. Today we're looking at, I investigated the city where only criminals live, where the savages live, all right? We're gonna jump into it today. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys are having a great day. Not really. This is Miracle Village, a town in the middle of nowhere, Florida, founded by a sex offender to house other sex offenders once they get out of prison. Oh, it's one of those. Sex offenders live here. Do they think what they did was wrong? And what do the people of Pahokee, the closest neighboring Pahokee. town, think of living next to a village of sex offenders? And also, too, if they happen to, to repopulate and they end up having kids, how does that work? They first moved here. They was walking all along the road. It was kind of frightening to me because I used to keep little daycare kids to send me a paper as they were moving in. The sex offenders. Do you feel concerned as a father that they are so close? Yes. That's why I don't let my daughter walk anywhere. I mean, you don't know who's who. You really don't know who's That's who. That's true. I would tell them get away. I'm like, I don't want no parts of it. I don't want to hear about it. That's sick. You know, leave us alone. And they have That's true. You could be at the store. You walking around all type of people. Murderers, sex offenders. Drug smugglers could be walking next to an alien. Who knows? Gone yet. They won't go by these men standing at the gas station. All right, we're going to go there too. Then. So the old lady was telling us the dudes that hang out here basically keep the sex offenders from crossing the line. Yeah. Like, you, like sex offenders like, don't go past a certain yeah, line. They're homophobic and they don't like all the. the really? They're old people, like, got it. They're not young. But they'll keep, like, kind of an eye on them. Do you have any thoughts on the sex offenders being so close? Oh, yeah, man. It's very bad out here, man. They got them right down there in the Pelican Lake down there. Okay. They be walking through here all the time. Did you raise a family I, out here? Yeah, I have a family. Does that concern you as a father? It's very concerning, man. I mean, at least they should put a fence around them. Well, when you see them, it'd be like probably about 20 of them. Oh, 20 of them. They're walking back. Yeah, it's good that they all cluster together, though, like that. Sometime. After talking to the people of Pahokee yeah. and driving past their school, I drove six minutes down the road and I'd made it to the sex offender village. Dang, going well, six minutes now? We're in. Let's ask this guy who wants to chat. Hey, what's your name? I'm Ryan. Ryan, good to meet you. I'm Tyler. Good to meet you too, Tyler. Hey. So, are you familiar that everyone here, for the most part, is a sex offender down yes. here? Got it. Um, that's not you? Oh, uh, I got sex charges, yes. Dang! Shouldn't have messed with them kids, man. Want to share how you ended up here? Um, yeah, I can share a little okay. bit. Okay. Tell me about it. What happened? Well, um, I was about 24. I um, mean, I met someone lied to me about her age. Okay. And I did five years. I ended up finding out about this place. My mom talked to him, and I moved down here to okay. get closer to her. So the girl lied about her age, and then yeah. you went to prison for that? Yeah. Do you talk to any of your neighbors out here? Do they have similar stories, or is it all pretty different? It's all different, pretty yeah. much different. And how old are you now? Dang. Um, Shorty lied 32. on him? Do you think you got dealt a wrong hand, or you were in the wrong? I got dealt a wrong hand. You know I mean, I was taken advantage of. I didn't have a lawyer, and they see me as an easy target to put in prison. So how old was the person? She lied to her age, said, she was 18 and to find out she was 16 and you were 24 i just looked it up the age of consent is 18 18 is way too close that's 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 teetering on the line bro 18 that's a high school senior he already got taste for for younger flesh but there are cases that girls be lying saying they one age but they not you ask them how old you is they say grown or old enough that's a red flag right there you gotta get the heck out of it did you end up uh, at trial uh it was probably about four or five months how long did the trial nah, take? that's kind of him hours really yeah they scared me to sign it so explain that what do you mean pretty much accusing me of something that i didn't do i've never been in trouble i have no juvie record and they seen me as an easy target you pled guilty yes have you lost work <laughs> opportunities since that event yeah there are some out there that won't let you get jobs in prison do sex offenders have as it, it should. much worse uh i'm done with this okay i'm really done with this because you keep bringing that up. You're, you're being disrespectful. How so? How? I mean, how so? Oh, I was more so interested in how your life was affected. That's kind of, I guess, the, the point of focus. What we're interested in how that's affected people's lives. Turn that off now, please. Sure. Yeah. Okay. What? I thought he's gonna hit me in the head with the crowbar. I'll be honest, but he didn't. He didn't admit it that he didn't hit a 16 year old. Thought she was 18. I don't understand why he can't say like how how I was in prison. Bro must have been getting beat up. Bro was probably getting used as a boy toy. I spotted this lady outside her house who told me something unexpected. Hey there, is this where um people who have committed sex offenses live? Or are you? No, I live here and I'm not a sex offender. Okay. Because sex offenders can't live everywhere. Okay. You can only go where you're allowed to go. You can either be on pro probation or whatever. Like my brother is an offender and he's not on probation, but he still got that on his status. So what did your brother do? Or is it a weird thing to he's talk about? Plumber. What did he do to get the crime? I don't know. Oh, so you never talked about it with him? No. Cat. My brother, why would I? I see. 
so it's, to me. I see. Is he reformed? Oh, okay. What, what percent of people here do you think are sex workers that came here for that reason? I she definitely be 80%. 80%. Okay, that's pretty high. You know this guy? No. Maybe they'll talk. No, he won't. Is he a sex offender? I don't know. He just won't talk. Who do you think we should talk to, if anyone? No, nobody's gonna talk. Really? Unless you get nah, she, one. I took this as a challenge. Nah, she, she BS. Around the village. He just said this is the area where, where predators live at. This is where the sex offenders live at. More than likely, you come across somebody nine times out of ten, they're gonna be a predator, bro. Knocking door to door until someone talked to me. Hello. We were wondering if any of you guys like to chat. And bro, going door story. to door like a no. like a Mormon. I was wondering if you'd be down to talk for this video we're making, trying to hear the stories of the people here, how to end it up here. And okay, I'm on the phone right now. No, I'm sorry, I'm working. I don't have to. As you know, it's a sensitive issue. It's a great place, so that's really all I. Can. Okay. You wouldn't want to share anything else? I don't think so. I'm not sure what the upside would be. I know what the downside would be, though. Finally, this guy talked. Hey. Hey there. Yeah, hi. hi. Is this uh, Pelican Lake? Yeah. Okay, and do you have to be a sex offender to live here? No, no. Okay, got it. For everybody. Are you a sex offender? Yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah. What did you do? <laughs> why, did, why, why did he say, like, yeah? Yeah, I am a sex offender. Yeah, yeah. That's me. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I made a big screwy mistake. Got it. Right that. That. Private. that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And right when I was getting close to the truth, I had alerted the people in charge so, yeah. of protecting this community's privacy. Wait, who are you guys? We're just making a documentary. Uh, you need to leave. Oh, why is that? We don't want you out here. What do you mean? Well, you have to go through the office. Oh, okay, yeah. the front office. Yeah. So I played dumb and went to the office to see who ran this operation. Let's see if we can get a little interview here. Hello. Hi. Hey, we're making this uh, little video. Talk to the people that live here, I'm trying to hear their stories and how they ended up here. We don't talk to the media. It's not something we're allowed to do. We We've had past issues with the press. Got it. But since I'm just a YouTuber, I got back in the car and kept knocking door to door until I heard well, more stories. Really We're wondering attack. if you'd be willing to share your story. Yeah, uh, my story's not that big a deal. I just got some computer. That's it. You know, I don't have a hands-on charge. There's a lot of uh, over punishment involved here. So what did you do? I had some child girls on the computer. Okay. I was being monitored by the police, and uh, I did three years for it. But um, I still got thrown in the same category as guys that maybe have insane or little, little tiny ch Like hands-on stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. This is one of the few places in South Florida you can actually live. Most people are homeless because of this. What? It's life ruining, would you say? Yeah, absolutely. It'd be better off if you killed somebody. But I was inserted in, in an open bay dorm, which is, means the beds are all in the open floor. A guy to my right was there on a 12-year sentence for assault. The guy to my left stabbed someone to death. I'm in between those two guys, and I got a third-degree felony. I'm wondering to myself, how did I get in between a murderer and someone that put someone... Out of all of the times that I used to indulge in online pornography i've never once watched child porn how do you stumble on some child porn if you're on the main porn site not any type of obscure extreme sites on the regular main hubs no pun intended how are you getting child porn on your computer, brother? In the hospital. We're looking at some videos on a computer one evening in my home. I just happened to be nosy and stumbled onto a file sharing program site that was really getting music, downloading music, Lime, Lime Wire. And uh, somebody said, hey, man, you get all the free music you want in the world, you know? Sure. I was downloading free music, and here's what I did. Yeah. I'm watching TV. EBS. And uh, I uh, see this, this, hearing this music from this band they used to know from the 60s called The Young Bloods. Okay. And so I said, yeah, that's a great group. Young Bloods. I find a video of them on, on Lime Okay. I typed in young bloods before I could spell the word blood. It came out blocks. It kind of gave me a suggestion of blocks, and I went, Yeah, I wonder what that is. So I hit the open the door to child, which I, I didn't even know how to find before. Sure, sure. Now, you know, if I got anything to look like it was a little tiny little or something, I get a little bit disgusting. Yeah. But when I saw teenage girls, I looked at it and put some of the stuff around 18. Sure. You know, that's, that's my story, really. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm, if I'm looking at something, and I see, and I hear young blondes, that's a red flag. I think a lot of these people, they be riding on the fence. They be like, well, 18, 18 is the age of consent. So, I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Legally, nothing wrong with it. But I but I feel like if the age of consent was a whole lot younger, people would be going for a lot younger women. Like if the age of consent, if the legal age was 15, you would see a lot of guys out here trying to spit at some 15 and 16 year olds, which is disgusting. Just because it's legal, not necessarily make it right. I go to a group meeting every Tuesday with a bunch of other guys from here. Sure. And there's guys in there that have no 
their daughter. Uh, what the? Uh, their granddaughter. Yeah. And I'm in there with these guys, and I, and I find and some of these guys have done like 15, 20 years, you know, 25 years. So I didn't have any videos of under 12 year old. That's the cutoff. You go down below 12, then. ICC downloaded the videos from the the LimeWire. So right. below yeah, 12 so is you can see him, bad. All, all you can see is the title, and you have to download to see. What I see. Is. You know, it happened back in 2012. I'm still dealing with it. Would you say it's ruined your life? Absolutely. And I'm just happy it didn't happen when I was 25. I'm gonna have like another 50 years to deal with it. Here's a guy right there you could talk to who is, uh, his name is uh, Cass. He has a position in the ministry. And out of nowhere, this angry old man hopped off a golf cart and started storming towards me. Hey there, how are you? What's uh, your motivation in coming out here and asking yeah. me these? So not kind of, yeah, I just asked what your motivation is. Oh, okay, well, there's not. Now he belongs with those people. You are on private property. Okay. There's a process where you could Got petition it. to come on board. Okay. We've been here 14 years. Being men who get out of prison, and there's just a procedure because there are a lot of people who want to do hatchet jobs. Okay, you know, that either makes sense. you're here to help the situation, or just please stay the hell away and make yeah. your own opinions. Okay. It's not a regular community. No Let's halt it for today. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, sorry guys. So I did just that. Stopped filming, went to sleep, and drove right back in the morning and stumbled upon <laughs> this guy going for a walk. Hey, I have a question for you. Um, would you be down to share your story if I ended up here? Personally, I'm not attracted to kids. Yeah. Florida's laws are so damn stupid. Nah, he sound like he attracted to kids. I ain't gonna lie. There are about 80% of the people out here who are sex offenders. Okay. So did you get on some false charges or what? No. Well, kind of. I got huh? charged with possession of... <sighs> I was using a file sharing program with LimeWire Network because the government uses them as spyware. Like a sting operation? Pretty much. I remember this real well even though it was years ago. I was looking at a porn video, typed in actress's name, and it was a bunch of so I deleted it automatically. So the final names were lies, but Broward County, one of the worst counties in the country. They're the ones who arrested me for possession of child pornography, even though I have a mental injury. What's your mental injury? I was in a car accident. They charged me 20 counts of possession. What's that got to do with anything? And my lawyer got, got it all the way down to five, but he said he couldn't get it any farther down. They also great. lied and said they caught me with recording equipment and other crap like that. Oh, for the, the kid? Yeah. That's not the case. Even when I was a youngin, watching that porn, jacking that dick, I ain't never used no file sharing. I ain't never used no lime wire, no, no MP3 juice, no, none of those, bro. I always use the main joints, the main James, bro. X videos, Spank Bang, X and XX, Pornhub. This nigga going through the whole list. I'm just, I just use the main ones, bro. I ain't never went off to, to any other crazy site. Do that. My, my lord got that erased. So how long did you end up in prison? A year and ten months. This is why I, this is why I wouldn't mess with no. Eight years. Got it. Download no so damn house a six sharing six site. Okay, and you're not for videos. God no. For videos. It. Just you downloaded files on accident. On accident. Yeah. Okay. Like twenty times. Originally they charged me with twenty. My lawyer got it. Down to six. That's a good I thought it was five. So how was prison as a sex offender? It was it wasn't good. All right. Well, I appreciate your time. After this disturbing interview, I ran into someone who lived in the sugar fields before these sex offenders all started moving down here. Did you work in the sugar? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure it was coming coming from around here, the back there. Okay. And they come to me and they, um, they hand me a, a paper. What did the paper say? And he said, um, sex offender. Also, why are you downloading porn? Just stream it, bro. I might be weird. I've never downloaded a, a porn video, bro. I just had it. What was where was on the website? No, where was on the main porn websites? I just why I never downloaded a porn video. When believing behind it, yeah. They say if I have any problem, then just call it. Okay. And that's what's it. So you've been called. No, no, I've never had a problem. I, 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 no problem, so I don't call. And after learning that this land was seemingly overrun by this community of sex offenders, I then ran into this guy who told me something even more unsettling. So you're not a sex offender? No. Anybody can live here. You okay. got kids or anything. Oh, there. kids live here too? Yeah, there's kids on that other street over there. What? I know some of them. Okay. But I don't I don't hang around them much. I know that guy on the end now. You could probably talk to him. And when I walked over to where this guy what? directed me, when does not into the most what, like wouldn't this be a, a bad a bad place to have kids at disturbing story yet hey 
Hello. How you doing? Okay, do you have to be a sex offender to live here? No. You don't have to be a sex offender to live here? No. Got it. So not everyone here is a sex offender? No. Is he a sex offender? Yeah. Are you a sex offender? Yeah. What's your story? Got out after 21 years. This is the only place that would give me a chance. Oh, Dang. Okay. Does everyone have crazy stories out here or is it just no, strange? No, uh, there's yeah. everything from guys that have got drunk, downloaded a little porn. Yeah. And there being someone that was under in it. Yeah. You know, I know one guy, two months later, the sheriff's office came in, busted his door down, his computer. Another month later, they came back and arrested him because they found eight pictures that were porn. Just eight yeah. downloads. Yeah, you got eight and a half years. But I'll tell you what, yeah. whether a person's guilty. You download porn videos, the cops bust in, they find eight photos of, of underage girls. That ain't no accident, bro. You you consciously chose to do that, brother. The problem with these guys, man, they're trying to go as young as possible. They're trying to go as young as possible that's within the law, bro. So they be trying to go for like for like 18, barely legal. Yeah. And I'm guilty. I'm not yeah. allowed to. Okay, got it. I, yeah, I Dang. Young okay. Yeah. Did you know how old she was? Yeah, yeah, I knew. I see. She was. Now, she was under age. Don't get yeah. me wrong. And yeah. I, I knew what was going on. Okay. What? And I was uh, for a sexual act. Okay. Uh, well, she got mad because I went and uh, uh, let my wife come back. Oh. And my wife had I left. See. How old were you at the time? 30, no, 40. So, okay, when that happens, is that like your life's ruined yeah. after that? Yeah? yeah. Did you lose job what opportunities the? and stuff? <laughs> I lost everything. Okay. I lost my job. I lost people who I thought were friends. Sure. And family. Okay. We now that's good they left. Okay. Through here. You know, we tried to watch out for each other, yeah. take care of each other. Okay. And you get out of jail with nothing. Sure. I was 40. Okay. I came out, I was 60, almost 62. The only people that helped me when I got out were guys that I met in prison. Okay, if you could go back in time, you obviously wouldn't do it, I imagine. Of right? course not. Sure. That'd be really stupid. Sure. Yeah. I thought you, you better say, of course. Consequences going into that relationship, do you think? I knew there'd be consequences. If you got but, caught. But I didn't think they would be quite as harsh. This is some freak nasty stuff right here. Bro thought he could bust down an underage girl and he was going to get a little slap on the wrist. Ask me, he should have got more than that. What was her age to you? Oh, and I knew she was a... You knew. But the same... Yeah. What? The same girl yeah. crawled into bed with me, took her clothes off and crawled into bed with me. Sure. But I'm... I'm... I... Yes! <laughs> yes! What the hell? First of all, why is she in the house? Second of all, why does she even feel comfortable enough to be crawling up to you like that and stripping and taking your clothes off? And third of all, why is you hitting her? What, what you thought it was gay? You want me to say no? That is so crazy. What the fuck? So you got charges? Yeah, that's bad. That's what is. I see. Yeah. How was your lawyer? Bad. And so you're in prison with like murderers, right? Sure. So I had friends that were murderers. So this chick crawls into bed with you naked. How old is she? Uh, she's 13. She's 13. But the problem was, yeah. I wasn't the first. She wasn't. The she ran it, ran it, got in my bed. Got it. Now, so, okay, let me ask you this. How did you meet the 13? 13? Why is she in your house? Now, she shouldn't be doing that, obviously, but that's, 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 we got a bigger problem to be dealing with. Why, why, why is she in your, your bedroom? Why are y'all two alone in the bedroom? Why is she stripping and, and, and crawling to you? And why'd you have sex with her? Now, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. It's still wrong either way. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like 16, 17. Bro, said 13. year old. She lived in the neighborhood I was in. Oh, okay. And I had a daughter. Okay. Did the daughter know her? Yeah, the daughter knew. That's the reason she came over the house. Friend. Yeah, but the daughter, my daughter was gone. She was with other so friends. Your daughter's friend gets in bed so, with you. Yeah. You guys have Yeah. Like more than once? I'd like a month and a half. God, this is a continued what? affair. Go and see my wife had left. Got it, okay. But she's from the neighborhood and yeah. she came over all the time and and I was just at home alone one day. I see. But she had already made Sure. So have you spoken to that girl after? There shouldn't be any type of, there shouldn't even be any type of leeway to you even having these type of interactions with the girl for a month and a half? Busting her, busting down her 13 year old for a month and a half? Cause you was lonely? That's crazy. And have a wife? That's crazy. Bro got rizzed up by a 13 year old. That's, that's, that's crazy as fuck. That's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. Prison? She wrote me for the first three years in prison. Really? Wow, okay. But I can't get a hold of her. You legally? Can, legally? Legally. If you're on probation, yeah. you cannot get a hold of your victim. So let me ask you this. Did you Good. talk to your daughter again after that? Sure. Yeah? You guys have a decent relationship? Yeah. My daughter, my son. Got it. Of course, my ex-wife. No. No. Yeah, <laughs> sure. It, it destroy, really does destroy your life. It's written right on your life. Got it. So what are you, you actually going to be doing? And, uh, ideally, and any chance yeah. that you're recording anything? Bro said she was 13 year old, giving him hints, raising him up.
That shouldn't even be a, a, a place even set for, for her to be rizzing you up like that, bro. She shouldn't even, you and her shouldn't even be in one, in, in a room by yourself. That's crazy. And busting her down for a month and a half is crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> it's so crazy. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Climax, a kick away. <laughs> That's so wild.